Hey guys, what's up? Sam here. Welcome to Studio B. Wanted to switch up this video because I'm just feeling different today. I'm feeling a different vibe. And that's that's how I've been feeling with these phones too. Um, normally when I get a new iPhone, it's really great for like the first day when I'm like making videos on it and I'm super focused. And then honestly, by the end of that day, just because I've literally been, you know, using it, thinking about it, talking about it, I'm like oh, bored. Like I, I'm like, eh. Okay, well, there's these like few shortcomings that I'm just like, man, if it would have had this, it, it would have been so much better. And these phones have that. Like there's a couple things that I, I, I really wish these phones would have done. But the thing that's, that's messing me up as far as how I feel about these is that like, even if, let's start with specifics here. Um, I wish that these could have done 4K, 240 FPS slow-mo. I think that we should have gotten a 4K slow-mo upgrade this year because we don't have 4K slow-mo on these. We just have 1080p and it's been that way for years, locked down. I think we should have gotten that upgrade. Okay, but do I actually shoot 4K that often? No, it just would have been nice to get the upgrade. Okay, well, that's notch one against my, my theory. Okay, number two, I wish that the Pro model had a 120 hertz screen. I wish that the refresh rate was twice what it is because it'd be so much smoother and it would look like the iPad Pro. And they, I love my iPad Pro, I love the way it feels. I wish we would have gotten that on the, at least the iPhone 12 Pro. It's not here, and sure enough, because I don't have a phone with a 120 hertz screen right next to it all day, I, I like most people just use one phone throughout the day, I can't even tell the difference and I don't mind that it's there. Okay, let's get more into this. The notch, the notch on these phones is the same size. The notch is the same size as it was in 2017. We have gone through iPhone 10, 10s, 10R, 11, and 11 Pro, and the notch hasn't changed. The notch is no smaller now than it was four years ago. And I was so mad coming up at this phone knowing it was gonna be like this. And now I don't care. I don't, I, the, notch is, the notch is there. There's this weird thing that's going on with these phones because even though they aren't as competitive as they used to be with Android, who is doing pinholes in the display and under camera and uh, pop-up cameras on the top, under display cameras, which is what I was meaning to reference a second ago, in-screen touch ID, side button touch uh, ID and fingerprint scanning, uh, rear fingerprint scanning, uh, facial recognition, which of course these have, uh, 120 hertz displays, uh, weird niche features where you can like grip the side of the phone and activate Google Assistant. You know, these phones don't have any of these, but I still feel like these are just the best phones that money can buy. And of course, you have to like iOS to agree with me. Like if you're an Android person watching this video, um, I'm not an Android guy, just not for me. I hope you like Android if you like it, that's great. But if you do like how iOS works on an iPhone, I'm a huge fan of it. Like these are just stupid good. They're just, they're stupid good. And, and I'm at a crossroads because like reviewing these, I don't know, every year, I, I wanna be honest with you, like I sit down and I was just, just thinking about it like kind of drained me. I was like, I'm gonna sit here and I'll be serious and I'm gonna talk about, God, these displays, these are the best displays I've ever seen. And the larger 6.1 inches this year is just, just phenomenal. And the thinner bezels, I love it so much. I mean, the cameras, I've never seen better photos uh, out of an iPhone. It's very competitive in, in camera wise with the Google Pixel, but then video, isn't competitive because the iPhone is just so much better. The stabilization, the way it works, there's no warping and bending. The 4K Dolby Vision HDR is just, it doesn't feel like it should be coming out of a phone. Like I just cannot believe we're getting 10 bit HDR video on both of these. And the Pro gets 60 FPS, this gets 30. Like just the best video you've ever seen in a smartphone. And I don't think anybody comes close to the iPhone. And I've said this for years, they've continued the trend. Nobody gets close for video. And then battery life. I saw some reports that was like, all right, the iPhone 12s don't have that good a battery life because 5G is draining everything. And I didn't experience that. I have 5G on auto and you know, 5G I made a video about this. For me, 4G is consistently faster than 5G. And that is still the case uh, a week after getting these phones or five days after getting these phones, like 5G just, I don't even wanna talk about 5G in this video because it's not ready and you shouldn't expect 
any different cell performance when you buy these. Like you shouldn't expect these phones to realistically be faster on an everyday basis with 5G. It's just not ready yet. And then battery life, I was saying like for that, I've heard people say it was really bad with 5G turned on. My battery life has been great. I've been ending the day with minimum 20%, like minimum. Uh, my battery life has just been so good. It feels significantly better for me than on the iPhone 11 Pro, but I think that's just because it's new and the battery was getting degraded. Like Apple, I think means it when they say it's gonna be pretty much the same battery life as the iPhone 11 Pro series, an 11 series. Uh, like it's just so good. And then the processor on the inside, the processor is just so fast. Like there's no point to do a speed test because it's just so fast. You know, you have four gigabytes of RAM in this six. I kind of am being facetious and going through this and doing the review, you know, kind of like that, right? Just laying it all out there straight up because I just really like these phones. I just do. And, uh, and, and if you're on the edge to get one of these and you're like, am I going to like it? You're going to love this phone. I am telling you, you're going to love this phone. I have not been this excited for a, I thought I liked the iPhone 10. It was a new design. It was new gestures. That was back in 2017. Like the nostalgia, the software hardware optimization, the displays being completely flat. The fact that these can stand up on their own again. Apple didn't blow Android out of the water in every factor. Um, I think that the places that they blew Android out of the water this year were design, hardware, and software quality, and the software quality they usually do on a regular basis, in my opinion, uh, in video quality, and uh, and also I'm I'm gonna give I'm gonna give Apple. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna say that's where they blew Android out of the water. Those are my honest honest feelings. Um, they they missed some spots though. They should have made a smaller notch. They should have had 120 hertz display. But that doesn't matter because the way that these are and feel are just so good. And Apple is just really good at doing that. Like they they don't even need the latest and greatest of every part of this phone to make it the best phone in my opinion. And I don't know. I just I've I felt weird about these phones. I didn't know what type of video to do. I didn't know how to feel. I just I just wanted to tell you how I I thought about these phones, how they've been with me, how they've performed, and I just have no complaints. Genuinely. I like there's things that are missing that I would like, but I can't even complain about it cuz the phone is just so good. You know, it's not like there's, there's parts of the experience that are lacking because we're not getting these ultra competitive features in parity with Android. They're not here, but you don't even notice because the, the magic of these phones is that they're great. Um, if you wanna buy the iPhone 12 Pro, it's got a couple things better. I wrote them down. Basically, just if you're stuck between the 12 and the 12 Pro, this is the last little part of the review I wanted to put in here. Okay, um, is $200 for the iPhone 12 Pro over the iPhone 12, worth it to get, okay, here, I'm gonna go and tell you. Uh, it looks and feels nicer. The 12 Pro gets slightly brighter. It has two gigabytes of extra RAM. It has higher starting and max internal storage. It has a third camera and it shoots higher frame rate, uh, 60 FPS Dolby Vision video. Those are the benefits of the iPhone 12 Pro. If those things that I listed are worth $200 to you, you get the 12 Pro. Um, and I mean it when I say the look and feel. This phone feels significantly more premium than the iPhone 12. However, the iPhone 12 is significantly lighter. Like, it's not even a question which, which one of these phones is lighter. If you're looking for the smallest, lightest, most compact phone, just feels like Air, like the iPhone Air, if that would ever be a thing, just get the 12. But this feels way more premium and it's got some extra bonus features. So, yeah. I mean, for me, the 12 Pro is worth it. I'm, I'm using the 12 Pro as my daily driver. This is my f thoughts and feelings on the iPhone 12 series. Um, something different, something I just wanted to, to, to throw out here because that's how I'm feeling this year. Feeling different, feeling different about these phones, really like them, and that's it. Nothing else. I bought these with my own money too, by the way, if that 
makes any of this more authentic. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> if you did, drop a like, hit subscribe for more. Let me know what you thought about this video and about the iPhone 12 if you bought one, if you're gonna get one or while you're skipping, because it's not like you need to buy these phones. Like the 11s from last year are still really good phones. These are just, you know, they look different. They're even better, okay? Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like, hit subscribe for more. I've been Sam and I'll catch you in my next video.